my DVDs. I cut back my collection a lot because it was just, it was too much. Hey guys, so just like everybody else on YouTube, I have embraced the KonMari decluttering method and I just want to preference all of this by saying that this has been an endeavor for me since the start of the year. It is currently the beginning of August. I have literally been at this since the beginning of the year. I started with my stuff and then I had moved on to the rest of the house helping my mom declutter all of her stuff and I have now full circled my way back to going through my stuff for the second time. So saying all of that, this cleaning decluttering method is legitimately a game changer. I know a lot of people say that and for me it really was once I understood it it just clicked and I was finally able to start getting rid of things that I didn't need that I had been hanging on to for just not good reasons and as I worked my way through my stuff and then my mom's stuff and helping her try to also be comfortable with you know, making the right choices about what you keep and what you get rid of. I feel like I've gotten good at it now that I'm able to go through the things that were difficult for me when I first started. And one of those things was my DVD collection. This collection is... I don't even remember when it started. Probably when I was... I don't know. I'm going to say 12, but I honestly don't remember when I started collecting DVDs, but it basically just boiled down to the fact that I like to watch movies and buying DVDs was the way that you watched movies before Netflix and Hulu and all those other streaming platforms. If you wanted to see a movie, you either went to see it in theaters hope to catch it on TV or you bought it on DVD and you watched it. So I amassed this ridiculous collection of DVDs because I was going out and buying all of these DVDs so I could watch movies all the time and always have new things to watch. So like I said, I already did this once and circle back around and am now doing it for the second time. And the first time was kind of the easy clear out. I got rid of all of the movies that I had bought because they looked interesting and I wanted to watch them. But then once I watched them, I didn't really like them that much. But instead of getting rid of them, I just kept them. And that was what the first clear out was for me, was getting rid of all of those movies that I honestly didn't even really like in the first place. So I got rid of all of those. This second clear out, I am still in the process of doing it. I literally stopped and took a break from watching movies to record this video because I feel like I'm losing my mind. I have been at this for two weeks and it's working, but the way that I'm having to do this is so time consuming because the only way that I feel comfortable getting rid of the movies is to watch them first, which might sound silly, but it seems like it's the only thing that works for me. There were a couple movies that I was able to say goodbye to without having to watch, but all of the other ones, even though I look at the movie and I know that I want to get rid of it, that it's not something that... I need to have on DVD, it's not something that I want to be able to watch all the time, I still am not able to get rid of it without watching it one last time. I don't know why, but that's just where I'm at, and it has been working though, 
I have spent all of my spare time in the past two weeks watching movies, but when I say it's working, I mean that I watch the movie and I say goodbye to it, I box it up, and it goes in a, it goes to donations. So it is working. I am getting rid of the movies that I pulled out uh, with the intention of getting rid of. So it is working. I already donated a whole box of DVDs and they're already gone so I can't even show you how many it was. I did not count them either because I didn't want to do anything that I felt might, I don't know, like discourage me or like make me feel guilty that I was getting rid of all of them. So I did not count them. I just know it was an entire box by the time it got taken and I'm still going through more. I believe I am close to the end because all of the movies that I think I'm going to be getting rid of I have pulled and put on a different shelf and am watching through them and I don't have too many left on the shelf. For a while I pulled some and then I go back through my collection and I pull more and then I would pull more and more and more and I think finally all the ones that I am going to get rid of I have already pulled off of these shelves. So I'm getting close to the end but I was kind of losing my mind yesterday because it was my day off of work so I had the whole day to watch movies which is exactly what I did for about 12 hours straight I watched movies and I only got through six movies in 12 hours which does not it's just not enough with the sheer amount of movies that I've been going through. But yes, this is what my collection is now. And looking at it just makes me feel so happy. It legitimately makes me feel good now. When I look at these, I feel like I'm happy about all of the movies that I'm keeping. I don't have to just look through all of these movies I don't care about to find the ones that I do care about and I feel like I have a better idea of what I actually have which I always did have a good idea of what I had because I actually have a Word document on my computer of an inventory list of all of my movies so I could keep track of them all because that's how big my collection was that I felt the need to make a list at some point so I could keep track of them. Which I still have the list. I'm down to like 300 and I don't know. It's still a lot. It's still like 320 DVDs, which is so many. But for the amount, I think I was over 400 when I started this. And now I'm down to the low 300, so I probably got rid of 100 DVDs this time around. And I got rid of a lot the first time around, too. I don't know how many it was the first time I went through, but it was a lot. So, yeah, this is what's left. I have empty shelves now. These shelves here that I have my figures on, same with the glasses over here, those were all completely filled with DVDs before I started this. So all these empty spaces that you see were all DVD real estate before I started this. So I just feel so much better. Like I said, looking at them makes me feel happy, which I feel like is what this process is all about to make you keep the things that actually make you feel happy. And it just makes you able to feel good when you're in your space, which is how you should feel when you're in your own personal space. If it's your house or just a bedroom like me, you should feel good just with the simple act of being in that space, which is what the KonMari method is all about, is helping you better understand what things to keep based on how they make you feel. And I could not recommend this method to anyone more. I've tried to get everyone in my family to do this. Um, none of them really care as much as I do, but this has really helped me a lot. And 
I haven't just done my DVDs, I've done my clothes and my books and really everything, my whole room, I've been decluttering this time around. Like I said, this is the second time that I'm doing this now that after the first time I got a good foundation and then I kind of honed my skills that I was able to go through the second time around and really get rid of all of those things that I was hanging on to for stupid reasons. So yeah, I just really wanted to take the time to make this video to get my thoughts out because this has been such a long process and sometimes it almost doesn't feel worth it, but it really is because once you kind of master this new sort of idea, I guess, or view of your way of looking at things, it really does change your day-to-day -day life. Like I said, being in my room now makes me just feel so much better than it used to, and I feel like I can start enjoying things that I used to enjoy doing, like watching movies and reading books, because I can actually look at my shelves and easily be able to pick out something that I know I enjoy and watch it or read it, and that is such a good feeling. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. So here is a close up of all of the shelves. They are not just now for storing. I also have extra space to style them, which is amazing because I couldn't do that before because I didn't have any extra space. So on this top shelf, I have my Harry Potter movies. I am currently missing the first three because during my decluttering, I realized that my first three movies were so old that they were in full screen. So I have bought replacement DVDs and they haven't come in the mail yet, but I do have all of them, including Fantastic Beasts. So that's there, my little owl up there. I love owls, completely unrelated to Harry Potter. I just really like owls. So. I had this figure. Um, some drawings, Mooncake from Final Space. Then this next shelf is my superhero movies, also this one underneath. So I've got the old school Batman movies, all of the X-Men's, the first season of Legion, which I'm not even gonna lie, I love Legion, it's a good show. But I legit bought this just because I'm obsessed with this cover art. That is why I bought the DVD, because I wanted to be able to display the case on my shelf. I'm obsessed with it. But don't get me wrong, amazing show, please watch it. But look at this, look at that. It's so cool, I love it so much. I, I just had to get it just so I could put it on my shelf. That's legitimately why I bought it. No shame, because it's it's so amazing. And then I have some of the MCU movies, which I cannot figure out what to do with these because they aren't actually movies that I rewatch very often. And when I was doing my decluttering, I was trying to keep movies, not just movies that I like, but movies that I like to rewatch because there's not much point in having a movie on DVD unless you plan on rewatching it. And I like these movies, but I don't rewatch them. So I don't I don't know what to do with them. I don't I really don't. I mean Guardians of the Galaxy is definite both of those definite keeps for me. I've rewatched the Iron Man movies a couple times, but all of the other MCU movies, I just don't rewatch. I don't th this has been a really tough one for me and I haven't figured it out yet. So something may happen with these at some point. I don't know. But then I have the original Fantastic Four with Chris Evans. Enough said. And then Watchmen. And then the ones under here I have my little chimichanga truck and Deadpool here. And then these are like comedic hero movies. So Kingsman, both Deadpools, The Spirit, both Kickasses, and both Hellboys. And then on this shelf, I have some Star Trek original series 
glasses that a friend of mine got and they're just like literal glass glasses with little characters the main four and then on this shelf is all my kids movies down here I have Christmas movies here how the Grinch stole Christmas Santa Claus is coming to town the year without Santa and home alone the three movie set and my little Baymax and then Emperor's New Groove Kronk's New Groove and then my collection of Scooby-Doo and then Legend of Korra and Avatar, of course, because they're amazing. And then I have Big Hero 6, Catch That Kid, Cats and Dogs, both Cloudy with a Trance of Meatballs, both Garfields, Hercules, Hocus Pocus, a must Hocus Pocus. I was so excited when I found that on DVD. Um, both How to Train Your Dragons, all of the Ice Age movies, Jumanji, Labyrinth, the Lego Batman and Lego movie, Matilda, Meet the Robinsons, Monsters, Inc., Mulan 1 and 2, The NeverEnding Story, Rise of the Guardians, all of the Shrek movies, of course, Space Jam, Spice World, Wally, -E, and Where the Wild Things Are. So on the shelf in between, I have A Little Princess in the Secret Garden, Donnie Darko and S. Darko, and then all of my Kevin Smith movies, Clerks, Small Rats, Chasing Amy's, Dogma, Jane Silent Bob Strikes Back, Clerks 2, and Jersey Girl. And then on the next shelf, I have my horror here on top. So I have the Babadook, and then I have my Del Toro collection. He is one of my favorite directors, period. But I have all of his movies except Mimic, I think. So, Kronos, Devil's Backbone, Pan's Labyrinth, Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, Mama, Crimson Peak, I Bought Shape of Water, which is why there's an empty spot. And then up top here is The Orphanage, which isn't a Del Toro movie, but I think he directed, either directed or produced it. I can't remember which one, but it's a really good movie if you haven't seen it. It's called The Orphanage, and it is in Spanish. So, heads up on that. And then, moving on, 10 Cloverfield Lane, A Perfect Getaway, Annabelle and Annabelle Creation. And then this, obviously, Edward Scissorhands isn't a horror movie, but I just have it here to display the cover art because it's just really cool. And then horror continues down here. I have The Conjuring 1 and 2, The Crazies. Friday the 13th, eight movie collection, so that's the first eight movies, and then the remake that they did with Jared Padalecki in, like, I don't know, like, 2008 or something? I'm not sure when that came out, but I have Get Out, Good Night, Mommy, all the Insidious movies, the original It, the remake It, It Follows, Lights Out, Oculus, Quarantine 1 and 2, which are the movies, the, um, um, English adaptations of the Rex series. Then I have all of the Saws, The Shining, Stir of Echoes, and Your Next. And then up top here I have the A Nightmare on Elm Street collection. So this is movies one through four and then movies five through eight. And then the shelf below that is my horror comedy or like dark comedy movies. So Beetlejuice, Rocky Horror, John Dies at the End, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil, The Cabin in the Woods. The first three scary movies, I don't care about any that have come after that. I have the three Lost Boy films, Zombieland, and then all of the Evil Dead series. And then I've got some more figures down here, Rick and Morty. And then this bottom two shelves are my comedies, which the fact that I have my comedies down to two shelves is incredible. I have 21 and 22 Jump Street, 30 Minutes or Less, 40 Year Old Virgin, A Knight's Tale, Anchorman 1 and 2, Bad Santa, Bandits, Basketball, Bring It On, The Campaign, Clue, Cry Baby, Due Date, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, and the sort of like sister film, Get Him to the Greek, The Three Hangover Films, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, The Hitman's Bodyguard, Horrible Bosses 1 and 2, Hot Rod, I Love You Man, In Bruges, The Internship, 
uh, Juno, Keanu, Knocked Up, Little Miss Sunshine, Mean Girls. I have an empty space here for Neighbors, and then I have Neighbors 2, The Night Before, Paul, Pineapple Express, Pitch Perfect 1 and 2, Pop Star, The Princess Bride, Robin Hood Men in Tights, School of Rock, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, She's Out of My League, The South Park Bigger, Longer, and Uncut movie, Spy, Step Brothers, Stick It, Super Bad, This is the End, The Tremors Collection, which I think this is four movies? I think it's the first four. Yes, the first four movies. The fifth one was garbage. Don't even watch it. Then The World's End, Zack and Mary, Zoolander 1 and 2. Then on my second in-between shelf, I have The Dukes of Hazard and Start Seeking Hutch. I have Django Unchained, Kill Bill Volume 1, and I have also gotten Volume 2. It hasn't come in the mail yet, though. Then I have Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And then I have my Hannibal Lecter collection. I have all the films, Hannibal Rising, Red Dragon, Manhunter, Silence of the Lambs, and Hannibal. And I do intend on buying the complete series of Hannibal to fully wrap up my collection because I'm a huge fan. The final shelf on this top shelf I have dramas, which this is all the dramas I have. I have Edward Scissorhands, The Fault in Our Stars, Flight, Gattaca, The Green Mile, The Imitation Game, October Sky, Paper Towns, Ray, The Runaways, and Straight Outta Compton. And then on display I have my copy of Hot Fuzz and Shaun of the Dead. Below that I have my little Pez collection of Star Trek Next Gen characters. And then I have my shelf of Pop Funkos here. And I also have my little Morty figure over there. This is kind of just a random shelf. I didn't know what to do with it, so I put my figures here. That's why it kind of looks weird and not very well put together. Then I have book adaptation films. So I have the Maze Runner series, The Hobbit, and Lord of the Rings. I have The Hunger Games and Twilight. And then down here are my action thrillers. So I have The Adjustment Bureau, Baby Driver, The Blake Collection, which is the three films, and I think the season of the TV show, Boondock Saints 1 and 2, Chronicle, The Condemned, The Covenant, Crank 1 and 2, Die Hard 1 through 4, 5 is Garbage, I Got Rid of It, District 9, Doom, The Fifth Element, Interview with the Vampire, Jurassic Park 1 through 3, and then Jurassic World 1 and 2. I have The Librarian 2, which I'm trying to decide if I just want to get rid of this or if I want to buy the full collection. Haven't made a decision on that yet. Limitless, The Losers, Men in Black 1 through 3, Mission Impossible 1 through 4. Now You See Me, Panic Room, Pirates of the Caribbean 1 through 3, The Raid 1 and 2, Red 1 and 2, Resident Evil, how many is it? 5? 6. 6 movies. 1 through 6. <laughs> Rock and Rolla, Sherlock Holmes 1 and 2, uh, Sin City 1 and 2, Source Code, Sucker Punch, Train to Busan, Unstoppable, View for Vendetta, Wanted, and I also have Zodiac. Alright, and that is what is left of my DVD collection. I hope you enjoyed. This has been quite the journey, ongoing journey. I still have more movies to go through. Bye guys!